Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to today's live stream. This is Master Paul. I'm honored to be connecting with you today. It is a Wednesday and it is a unique day in that I get to teach on a subject that is little understood but heard about a reasonable amount of time. A lot of people hear it in different names, different words. I call it the three secrets. That's what my teacher Master Shah refers to it as. Sanmi, Shenmi, Komi, Yimi. Sanmi means three secrets. San is the Mandarin Chinese word for three. Me is secrets. And I will share with you today for those that watch these three secrets to expanding your soul journey. I'll be using uh, one of my teacher's books to help explain it and then we'll use some actual examples and practices and of course blessings that are always included. So I encourage you to stick around if you're new watching for the first time. It could be of great value for you to receive some of the wisdom that will be shared here today. I apologize for starting a little bit late. I was uh, enveloped in uh, a different task. And um, so sometimes that happens as a certified teacher. I have a variety of responsibilities. So I'm grateful to be with you at this time. Aloha, Chloe. Aloha, Jessica. Thank you for your love. And welcome to everybody else that is joining at this time. I'll check in with you in a few minutes. <coughs> Last few days have been very, very valuable. Yesterday we focused on how we can reconnect more to our beloved divine creator. And if you missed that, highly recommend you go back and watch it. Uh, actually some very deep wisdom. We had some, I offered some extraordinary blessings on that as well. A lot of us, because of our uh, separation really from creator, um, we find ourselves in massive amounts of stress a great, a uh, great deal of pain and suffering in many ways, and it's truly um, doesn't have to be so, so, so much. You know, it, it doesn't need to be that uh, volatile and painful, and and, and and life doesn't need to be so painful. And if we take the time to reconnect to our Creator through some of the wisdom and practices that I shared yesterday, you can truly uh, save yourself a lot of suffering. So I encourage those who missed it to you go above my video here and it lists the Facebook live streams from the past and you can watch them there. <clears throat> also if you prefer podcasts, uh, at the end of every week I, I take about three or four hours I convert my videos into podcasts and upload them onto my website and you can follow the links to there and from there you can say okay I'd like to receive this on my telephone or I'd like to be notified by email each time a podcast comes out. There's a variety of ways to actually listen to the podcasts. So my encouragement to you is if your time is busy and it's difficult for you to stay tuned as much as you might enjoy, that these are alternative ways to take it all in. <coughs> so let's check in with who's showing up so far today. <coughs> it is a Wednesday. It's a hump day. Welcome Liliana. Welcome uh, Sherry German. Aloha Christian. Kristen Rojas, welcome CJ, aloha, welcome Kate Nicole, aloha Suki Singh, and welcome also to Jessica Gregory, welcome Danette, aloha Pat, aloha Jose, and welcome also to uh, Heidi Pearson, aloha Candy, aloha Rian, and welcome Candy Cornett, welcome Emma, haven't seen you in a while, Emma, good to see you here. <clears throat> Welcome Jagdeep and welcome also to Lisa. Welcome Thomas Smith and welcome Ilona. Aloha Karen. It just skipped on me so I'm trying to catch up. Uh, welcome also to Richard Amodio. Richard's coming in from Thailand. Welcome, Carol. Aloha, Ali. Karen Jones, welcome. Welcome, Shelly. Aloha, uh, Anu. 
and welcome Nelson. Aloha Nina. So thank you everyone for joining today. If I missed your name, please forgive me. Thank you also for clicking on that share button, letting other people know about this. These three secrets are probably some of the most important secrets that can be shared. And um, you will have heard of the secrets when I reveal them, but today we're gonna drill down on them. We're going to look at some of the deeper meanings of them and what we can do uh, to, to inhibit ourselves from creating additional unpleasantness in our life. Basically, we are our own responsibility and no one's gonna fix us for ourselves. So we have to do our own part. So a lot of this is uh, proactive. You have to be um, uh, willing to do a few of the, apply a few of the wisdom teachings and steps to increase the value of your life. But this will absolutely help a lot. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome also to Chris Ezekiel Luis. And hi, Angie. Give me a moment. Mouse a little dry today. Welcome, Patricia Johnson. So for those of you that are new, just tuning in, <coughs> I'll, I'll share with you a little bit about my teacher. His name is uh, Dr. Master Zhigong Sha, and this is one of his books. I'll be using it to refer to today. This one is called Soul Healing Miracles. Uh, an exceptional book, truly remarkable. Uh, loads and loads and loads of wisdom. A lot of power in there as well. Welcome, Karina Frey. And the reason uh, I share this wisdom and teachings is because it's changed my life. Uh, but more importantly, I have been on a spiritual journey for over 20 years, over 30 years, excuse me. And um, that's a long time to be on a spiritual journey, a dedicated one, mind you. And I've trained under two previous masters, both of them enlightened beings truly enlightened, not just a cute little word. And, and so is this master. The reason I, I uh, like his wisdom and teachings is because they're very practical. He, he offers guidance and wisdom that is very practical in our everyday life. And I like practicality. That's why I teach that way. <clears throat> and so as we uh, prepare, <laughs> Kristen, you're too funny, Kristen. Yesterday you asked me to do you a favor. Today I'm doing you that favor. Now you want to know about it. <laughs> um, welcome, Christopher Bailey. So let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul, and then we will move into the wisdom and teachings. All right? I'll tell you a little bit more about my teacher later. So we do that by placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, which is much like a prayer position, but we drop the left hand in front of the heart center, the right hand remains gently pointed towards heaven. Welcome Helena Yakman. Welcome Susan Birchmore. Aloha Jennifer. Close our eyes. Let's release the day. For those that are just waking up, let's prepare for a beautiful day. <clears throat> Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source. Our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. Dear all healing angels, archangels, masters, and ascendant masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, I love you, I honor you, I deeply appreciate you. I ask you to please be present. Dear our beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, our beloved Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, beloved Kuan Yin, Namo Amitofu, we love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask you to please be present. We ask you to come to sit in each of our heart centers. Bless us to open our hearts and souls to the source. Bless us to open our hearts and souls to our own soul and its journey. We ask for the wisdom and teachings to be offered today on these three secrets, to reach into everyone's hearts and souls, offer them further wisdom and guidance that they can have a healthier, happier life. In all cases, we ask this as appropriate. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We ask you to please come at this time to turn on in all souls, and we invite all souls in all universes to chant love, peace, and harmony with us as we offer this service. For anyone that's new or newer, <clears throat> this is a blessing. Please make a request to heaven to receive the rest of us, we will chant love, peace, and harmony 
to fully connect heart to heart, soul to soul, and then we will move forward with the teachings, wisdom, and blessings. Let us begin. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, 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 Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So aloha and welcome to Neil, welcome Kathy Monahan, and welcome also to Lopez, uh, welcome Chris Ezekiel, and anyone else I've mentioned, forgive me for not seeing your name. Thank you all for hitting the share button, letting other people know about this uh, wisdom teachings and blessings today. So today is on the three secrets to assist us with our soul journey. Uh, I was referring to my teacher, Master Shah, earlier, and this is from his book called Soul Healing Miracles. This is his first book that reveals the, the significance of the fifth power called uh, writing power or calligraphy power. But that's a whole other subject. Today we're going to be focusing on the three secrets. He refers to them as San Mi. San is the Mandarin Chinese word for three, and Mi means secrets. Mi is spelled M-I, San Mi. So I'm going to read to you a little bit directly from his book, uh, and then we will go delve into these secrets. In this turn on Mother Earth, there are historical records dating back to thousands of years. We understand that Mother Earth has been in turns before. What is a turn? A turn is an incarnation, kind of like you've heard of Lemuria and Atlantis and all that. These are called turns. Mother Earth has reincarnated many times. Reincarnation is a universal law. Welcome, Sonia. I shared in the introduction that the oldest minerals analyzed to date were found in Western Australia and are at least 4.4 billion years old. In the future, scientists could discover much older minerals on Mother Earth. Uh, time also reincarnates. A new era on Mother Earth and all universes began begins every 15,000 years. On August 8 of 2003, the previous era ended. It was the era called the Shagu era. Now the Shagu era uh, I've heard, is many different ways of looking at it, but it's the era of mind over matter. And that has ended. August 8, 2003, we're coming into a new era. The, the near ancient era, archeologists estimate that modern humans have been on Mother Earth for about 200,000 years. I received a spiritual message from heaven that human beings have existed on Earth for much longer than 200,000 years. It will take time for scientists to find evidence of this. Some archaeologists say that symbols found in China carved into 8,600 year old tortoise shells may be the earliest written words. Aloha Lucille. We do not have enough records from 20,000 to 30,000 years ago or even earlier to explain what happened with humanity on Mother Earth. Welcome also to Marianne Melvin. From ancient times up to now, one of the biggest treasures that has been left to humanity and given us the greatest benefits 
is sacred spiritual wisdoms and practices. The sacred spiritual wisdom and practice is continually guiding humanity to transform every aspect of their life. Sacred wisdom and practice from ancient times up to now can be summarized as San Mi, which means three secrets. I will explain San Mi further. So Master Shah goes on to say, this is the book called Soul Healing Miracles for those that have just come in. I'm on page uh, three after the first 25 pages of preface. San Mi includes Shen Mi, To Mi, and I Mi. Shen Mi is body secrets. Shen Mi means body. Mi means secret. Shen Mi means body secrets. If you observe statues and paintings of all kinds of the spiritual temples and churches around the world in every spiritual tradition, the masters, the Buddhas, and the saints, they are, have their hands in very special hand positions or mudras as well as body postures. Have you ever seen the Buddha that lies down on her side with her hand like this? This is actually a very special body posture position for enlightenment. Not too many people understand that the hand mudras and positions that the Buddhas have with their fingers and the statues and whatnot, um, Jesus, all of them, very often their hands are like this when they're offering you blessings. There's a reason for that. These are some of the ancient secrets. It's an example. Okay. And they apply these when they do their meditation or their spiritual practices. That is the Shen Mi body secret. There are so many body secrets. Every hand and body position benefits different parts of the body. Shen Mi can be summarized in one sentence. Where you put your hands is where you receive the benefits for healing, rejuvenation, and development. Ko Mi is the second secret. Ko Mi, spelled K-O-U, M I Ko Mi is mouth secrets. Ko means mouth, Mi means secrets, <clears throat> which is chanting mantras. Mantras are sacred sounds and messages. Chanting repeatedly for healing and preventing sickness, rejuvenating, prolonging life, and transforming relationships, finances, and every aspect of life. I will give one example. Billions of people on Mother Earth have learned and continue to learn from different uh, belief systems. In the Judaic Christian belief systems, they chant very specific verses. In the Buddhist traditions, they chant very specific Buddhist mantras and so forth. One of the most renowned Buddhist mantras is called Namo Amitofo. You've heard me chant this before. Namo means revere, like sir, like deepest respect, revere. Amitofo is a Buddhist name, Amitabha in Sanskrit. The founder of Buddhism is Shijamonifo, Shijamonifo, also known as Shakyamuni Buddha, and Siddhartha Gautama, different names, same soul. In the stillness of his meditation, Siddhartha what everybody knows, whenever they see Buddha statues, everybody believes that Buddha is first Buddha. This wisdom shares that when this Buddha, uh, Siddhartha Shakyamuni Fo, was in deep meditation, he found Amitofo, who is an ancient Buddha from long, 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 long time ago. Amitofu was emperor in ancient times. He abdicated his throne to follow his spiritual master with a goal of reaching soul enlightenment. Amitofu made 48 vows to create uh, Lijie sh, uh, Shijie, a spiritual realm in heaven. Jie means most, Le means happiness, Shijie means the world of most happiness. It is also named the pure land, P-U-R-E, pure land. This land has no ego, no anger, no fighting, no jealousy, no competition with each other. They are uplifting their soul journey higher and higher. Interesting information, right? It's not something we hear every day. These are, these are secrets that are being revealed. Amitofo's 18th vow out of his 48 vows is the most important of his 48 vows. 
He vowed that if anyone who believes in him and desires to go to the pure land chants his name ten times shortly before transitioning from physical life, then Amitofo's soul will personally bring this one's soul to the pure land. This is one of his vows. Okay? And so the purpose of explaining this is these are what's an example of mouth secrets. That when you chant something consistently, then you can become uh, with the power of that chant, that phrase, that mantra, or the power of that soul, in this case, Amitofo. For those that have a strong belief and foundation in our beloved Jesus. I love beloved Jesus. I bow to beloved Jesus every day. I also bow to Buddha every day. Why? Because they both serve humanity unconditionally. And so this is not uh, anything going along the roads of religion. We honor all belief systems. This is just an aspect of teaching of mouth secrets. And he's using mantras as an example of mouth secrets. He says, if you chant Amitofu over and over, you are bringing healing and rejuvenation to yourself. You could also chant Jesus or Mother Mary again and again and again, and also receive similar, if not the exact same kinds of blessings. That's the key to the mouth secrets, okay? A human being has two lives, a physical life and a soul life. The physical life is limited. The soul journey is eternal. The purpose of physical life is to serve the soul journey. Why have billions of people chanted Namo Amitofo? It is because they love and believe in this soul. They want to go to his realm to reach advanced soul enlightenment. So when you chant uh, these sorts of names, then you have a higher possibility of aligning to their frequencies, their love, their light, their compassion. All right? To chant is to become what you chant. <clears throat> he goes on to say, the one sentence secret of Comey, what you chant is what you become. You could find this scientific article. Scientists prove DNA can be reprogrammed by words and frequencies. Now we already have seen Dr. Emoto's water being reprogrammed by words and frequencies, but science has now proven that DNA can be reprogrammed by words and frequencies. Isn't that interesting? What is a word? It is a mouth secret. Do you understand the link why he put that in there? So uh, Amy is body secrets. Comey is a mouth secret. We can literally change our future just by watching what we say how we say it, when we say it, and as just as importantly, by uh, communicating with the greatest love. We recognize, for example, Dr. Emoto, he wrote the word love, peace, other words on water, that the, the Shen Chi Jing of that water did not carry the highest frequencies, and they were altered. Master Shah states that science has validated that DNA can be altered the same way. Uh, just by our just by our words, very powerful. Welcome to uh, Robret. Welcome, Kayla. Welcome, Master Francisco. You will learn and experience a lot about chanting mantras in this book and in other books of the Soul Healing Miracle series. Emi, thinking secrets, what we think, right? Now this is different. Some of you might have thought that I was going down the path of hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Uh, very true. Definitely pay attention to those truths, those secrets. However, this is body secrets, mouth secrets, what we chant is what we become, and thinking secret. E, me, e means thinking. Me means secret. E, me means thinking secret. In history, billions of people have meditated. To meditate is to train the mind. There are countless ways to meditate in all kinds of spiritual practice. What is the key to meditation? Some people meditate by visualizing the sun and the moon. Some people meditate by visualizing the Big Dipper. Some people meditate by visualizing a mountain or an ocean. Some people meditate by visualizing the Buddha or a holy saint. Or other spiritual father and mother. 
meditation can be summarized in one sentence. Meditation is creative visualization. What you visualize is what you receive blessings from. So let me explain this one sentence secret further. Master Shah goes on to explain. This is on page 7 if any of you have the book and wish to follow. Again, for those that are new, I'm reading from the Soul Healing Miracles book. Let me explain the one sentence secret further. For example, if you visualize Jesus, you connect with Jesus' soul. Jesus' healing power could benefit your journey very much. If you visualize Mother Mary, Mother Mary's love could benefit you a lot. If you visualize Kuan Yin, the Buddha of compassion, she could open your heart further. If you visualize the sun and the moon, you could receive their Shen Qi and Jing. And it could, of course, bless you. You receive the blessings from wherever your focus is upon. In ancient teachings, to apply one secret is powerful. Shen, Mi, Ko, Mi, and E, Mi are each powerful if applied individually, but to apply all three together, wow, extremely powerful. Now I will share the one secret, one secret practice to apply San, Mi, the three secrets uh, together. This is the Compassion Buddha practice. So we're going to do this practice together, okay? So I will lead you to guide you through two variations. This practice is a practice to boost energy, stamina, vitality, immunity, and to assist you with maintaining optimal health. The second is a practice to open the third eye and the spiritual channels. All right. So now I'm going to show you this body power in the book. Take a look at this. You see where the hands are placed. This particular body power is actually... Uh, one that that I have not used in a while it's a pyramid style hands and when we do this practice you won't be able to see my hands this is why I showed you so you want it to be comfortable but it's basically on the lower part of your torso so it's not up here by your chin you bring your hands down until it's about the lower part of your torso where it's still comfortable but not at the higher part okay this is your body power. Again, how many hand mudras are there? Remember Master Shah talking about the, the, the Buddhas holding their fingers in certain positions as they're doing blessings or um, uh, aligning themselves to higher frequencies. Welcome to Paul Quackenbush. And welcome any other souls, Athena, and any other souls I might not have mentioned. Komi. We are going to chant uh, a Buddha mantra, Kuan Yin's mantra, called Wang Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong. This is a sound power. Ko Mi, mouth secret. Okay? Guan Yin's six word enlightenment mantra. This is an enlightenment mantra. There are people their entire life in the Eastern cultures who chant Wang Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong every moment of the day their entire life. They are self-clearing their spiritual debts. They are self-clearing their negativity. They are uh, allowing their health and well-being to maintain at the optimal level by applying these secrets. Wong Mani Ba Ma Hong. We will chant that for about 10 minutes. We'll, be, we'll do a long practice. The longer you chant and the more often you chant, the better the results you could receive, of course. Emi, thinking, visualize golden light from heaven pouring into your crown chakra on the top of your head and down through your seven chakras in the center of your body to the Kungong area. Kungong is a sacred space located. This is another secret. It's amazing, Master Shah puts so many secrets in his book. Most people who are watching this, maybe only 10% have heard of the Kungong. And even of those 10%, maybe only half of them actually know where it's located at. It's a sacred energy point. So he shares that it's a sacred space located behind the navel area, and it produces Yuan Jing, Yuan Jing, and Yuan Qi, which is original Qi and original matter. 
original chi and original matter is your sacred oil that keeps your oil lamp of your life filled. Think of you as a child, you have a full oil lamp. It is our spiritual debts, our negative services upon others that drains our oil lamp over the course of time. But there are sacred secrets, including these three secrets, uh, that allow us to gently, slowly refill our oil lamp. Isn't that wonderful? I love Master Shah. I love the wisdom that he brings to us. And so we will visualize golden light uh, bringing light, dripping the essence of life into our Kun Gong area behind the navel. Okay. Let me make sure is there anything else before we do with the chanting. Okay. So let's do this together. Uh, you can, if you choose, to also visualize, for example, a uh, being of light of your choice. You may choose to visualize Kuan Yin. There's an example of her here behind me. You can choose to visualize Blood Jesus or Mother Mary coming to sit inside your heart center, uh, receiving further nourishment. This is also examples of Yi Mi, thinking power. All right. So we're going to place our hands again for those that came a little bit late. Our palms are going to be like this, facing each other. Okay, I'll show you the picture again so that you can see it. Notice approximately where his palms are. They're on the lower part of his body. Uh, his thumbs are probably just barely above his belly button. So that's going to be your ideal posture. Okay. So it, you want to make yourself comfortable, not uncomfortable but that's an approximation. So place your palms there, close your eyes, bring your thoughts, uh, invite in the being of light of choice. If you desire into your heart center, I will do so as well. And repeat after me, we're going to do the four powers to connect. Dear the soul, of beloved Kuan Yin, the mantra Wang Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong, the enlightenment mantra, I love you. As I chant you, could you please bless me to further develop these three secrets, to further develop my soul power. Please bless me to self heal and rejuvenate. I am very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Close your eyes, visualizing the golden light coming in from 360 degrees through the crown of your head, down through your heart center, down to the Kun Gong area, the oil lamp sitting behind your navel in the center of your body, and fill up the oil lamp as we chant together. Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong. Excuse me for a moment. I think there's one person, maybe two, that are lying down. If you are lying down, please do not chant out loud. Only chant silently if you are lying down because it drains your energy. Okay, let us continue. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. 
Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. See the light pouring in. All the beings of light are sharing with you their incredible frequencies of love and light. Heaven is pouring its light through your crown chakra. It is extraordinarily bright. The light is coming in from 360 degrees through your crown chakra, going through your channel through the center of your body. It is connecting to your heart center where there is beings of light who are dedicated to your soul journey that are assisting and offering additional blessings of light. And it is creating a nectar, a golden drop of nectar that very, very eloquently drips into your life's oil lamp of your kun gong. Wong mani ba ma hong. 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 A little bit faster now. Seeing the light come in even more pure, even brighter. The drip on the oil lamp is starting to become even more as the essence of your beloved Creator shares the greatest love with you. Wong mani ba ma hong. 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 Now we're going to chant very slowly, gathering the light. Wong mani ba ma hong. 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 Wong. Mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong. 
มานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหงวงมานีบามาหง silently I will chant for you connect connect with your ancestors connect with your beloved Jesus connect with Mother Mary connect with Creator connect with Buddha and Kuan Yin ask them to bless you to gather the light to help to fulfill your oil lamp of life I will chant on your behalf Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong. Pay attention. Are you getting saliva built up in your mouth? If it is, consciously swallow the saliva. It is the sacred liquid, the sacred nectar that will refill your oil lamp. This is another sacred secret. To gather the saliva in your mouth. To swallow it down consciously to your kungong gathers the nectar of life. Continue. Wong mani ba ma hong. 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 Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Now we will ask this mantra and the beings of light that are with us. To bless us for a specific condition, if you have a pain or a suffering, something going on with you, you can make a request at this time. Follow my lead. Dear the soul of all the beings of light that are present at this time, the soul of the mantra, Mong Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong, the soul of San Mi, the three secrets. Could you please bless me for the condition of? And then state what you would like a blessing for. Make note that if you are in pain or something like that, what the number is, so that you have a point of measurement afterwards. Let us continue. Wong mani ba ma hong. 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 Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 
Wong mani ba mong, 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 Wong mani ba mong. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. So now we're going to continue, but if you have chosen a specific pain area, you can place both hands on your lower abdomen. And visualize light coming into that particular area. If you have requested uh, something related to relationship or finances or something that is non tangible, uh, visualize the light again coming into the same area. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong. Ha ha ha! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I will bow my head nine times to the beings of light that came. It's up to you if it's something that's comfortable with you to do. On Monday we taught on the subject of humility. And how uh, placing your head on the ground to all souls is a great way to bring humility into your life, to honor. And I bow my head to my teacher, spiritual father, Master Shah. For without him, we would not have these secrets brought so easily to humanity. Many of these kinds of very uh, uh, sage but important secrets. They may appear simple because of the delivery of the information, uh, but they were very often for, for thousands, you know, possibly millions of years, kept from humanity. We are moving, as he said in the beginning of this chapter, into a new era, the soul light era. And these kinds of secrets are coming out to be revealed so that we can reach soul enlightenment because that is this era. It is the era from mind over matter and we're moving into soul over matter, where soul is the boss. Bring the transformation at the level of soul and then the mind and the body will match the transformation that the soul has received. You've heard me uh, offer wisdom before, that at the level of soul is where the uh, the, the origination of any pain or suffering that you might be experiencing, that's where it's at because the soul is forever, whereas this physical vessel is not. And so when we offer uh, practices that are soul-based practices to bring transformation to the negativity uh, that resides at our soul level that then manifests at the physical level, we can then create a, a, uh, a very workable solution to bringing into our life the the environment that we really would like we want to solve our problems we want to have less suffering we have to do that by addressing things at the level of soul these three secrets are very key and important that is why you see the great beings of of, of all lifetimes uh, using their body power using their mouth power mantra and using their creative visualization yimi so I hope this wisdom today served you. It's been my honor to offer this teaching today. I apologize, I did come in a little bit late today. Um, I was uh, <laughs> busy with the task, I guess is a good way to put it. And so, um, 
for anyone that is interested in uh, private blessings, uh, I can do soul readings to discover the root causes of some of the problems and also can offer very special blessings that have the ability to remove your Shen Qi Jing negativity blockages very fast. Uh, the honor fees are very reasonable. You can find out more at my website, asoulhealer.com. It's listed above. And please share. If you're new and you enjoyed this, you would like to know when I go live again, there is the uh, subscribe button um, on my uh, Facebook page. And uh, I will see you again tomorrow. Um, I'm hearing sing. I want to read some comments. Um, going to have to come back and watch it again, says Kate. I guess she had a bad connection. Uh, Susan said she had no pain until it chanted and all, and, and all way through she had an earache. Interesting. So that's interesting. Susan had no pain until she started chanting and then she had an earache. So stuff was moving out. Um, Shelly, when you chanted faster, she received much more and brighter light. Every time it was remarkable. Once we asked for a particular blessing, she started to vibrate and shake in a very big way. This has never happened. And Shelly's been coming to my uh, live streams for a while. So for that, it's pretty big. Um, so I encourage you, Shelly, to do a bit more chanting of Wong Mani Ba Ma Hong. It could help you a lot given your conditions. All right. So thank you all so much for your sharing. Thank you for joining. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Make sure and hit the subscribe button if you're new. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gong song. Gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody.